So folks who live here near large bodies of water in Houston, in Florida, the Caribbean, they're concerned about these storms, the frequency, the power of them. Should we be concerned? We should always be concerned. We, we live in an area that's been hit by hurricanes uh, rather frequently over the last 200 years that uh, we've known about being settled here. Uh, we've been a while since Hurricane Ike, so I think a lot of people have softened their memory of it. Now we've had Harvey, Irma, Jose, Marie in a short period of time. Almost all of them were historical in one way or another. And as folks here start to recover from Harvey, looking back, can we pinpoint what went wrong? Why was this storm so bad? We have had uh, uh, an unbelievable amount of rain from Harvey from one, one really big reason, the storm stopped moving. If you remember, that came in on a Friday night, moved about 50 miles inland, and it pretty much sat in that same place for the next two days, and then only slowly moved uh, eastward. It's unusual, but not unprecedented. So is there anything that we're doing to make the storms worse or happen more frequently? One of the debates that's ongoing that I, I think is probably a little too early to give a, a, a definitive, definitive answer on is, is, is the climate changing and the ocean uh, temperature warming. Is that contributing to the, uh, the Harvey Irma Maria effect we had here? I don't think we know that with what we've looked at now. There are, there are climate scientists, of which I'm not one of them, that will certainly be looking at the ability to attribute what, what happened here as, as to how much, if any, would be done by climate change. On the other side of the argument is we've had similar storms to these in the past, so it's not, it's very difficult to, to discriminate between whether this was a climate change result or whether this was a naturally occurring event and we just were the unlucky recipients of it. Is this possibly a case of us forgetting history? Because I'm not sure that we've had um, so many powerful storms back to back that hit mainland like this. To have as many Category 5 hits as we had in the Caribbean, and we don't have any in our database that goes back about 150 or so years. Uh, but having storms that strong, we can go back to 2010 when I was still at the Hurricane Center, we had uh, four or five in a row that were category four approaching category five, but they all stayed out in the ocean, so nobody remembers them. Uh, the impacts that we've had, especially with Harvey and Maria, are, are, are really extreme. Uh, Irma, Florida has been hit with big hurricanes that have caused as much or worse damage than Irma, it just there weren't as many people there back then. Is this possibly the new normal? Should we just get prepared? for disasters like this? I've been saying for about 40 years since I've been doing hurricanes that we need to get prepared uh, uh, for big storms. We build into harm's way and we don't build our structures to withstand the winds of the really strong storm. So nothing has changed on that message, folks. We really need to be prepared. Uh, uh, the immediate lesson we've learned from Harvey is that in a very flat uh, 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 bayou, uh, and creek ridden area that we built it, our Houston Galveston area in, almost everywhere is prone to some threat of risk of flooding. And my advice to you is at a bare minimum, we should have flood insurance.